Nah, you know what? It's gonna be a serious. Swear! Yeah, I'll tell you why. I'm gonna ask the examiner, see what they say. Hey guys, we're back for a special mock test with my brother today, Kieran. Say hello. Hello, hello. So, uh, if you guys are new to this channel, you might not have seen Kieran's old videos where he actually learnt with me and he passed how many months ago now? Around eight. About eight months now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's a bit different because he's an experienced driver. We're gonna see how he drives. Has he developed any bad habits? Is he still good at driving? Is he still able to pass a driving test? We're gonna see, guys. So, uh, just gonna do a normal mock test 38 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, drive along as normal. If I want you to turn left or right, I'll tell you in plenty of time. We we'll do about one reverse bend, one reverse maneuver. We're going to do about ten minutes or so worth of independent driving, and we'll also do one reverse maneuver, which I already mentioned. Okay? okay. Do you have any questions? No. All right. When you're ready, drive out towards the right, please. Okay, the end turn right, please. Mm -hmm. That corner is always so pee. Mm. Right here? No, no, straight on, please. Trying to go your own route. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. The end here, turn left, please. You got your own car, right? Mm -hmm. What car do you have? Uh, 1.2 litre Corsa. Is it very different from this one? In terms of the way it drives? <laughs> I can't begin to tell you how much it is. Mm. Because this car, instantly, the clutch was nuts. Nuts in my way. Stiff. <laughs> very stiff. Mm. Very, very stiff. See what my car is, yeah, very smooth when you put down the clutch. Mm. Right. Is so it where are we going? Straight on here, please. On? Yeah. Right. From, yeah. From from first starting to drive your car, yeah. Mm. The clutch feels insane. The brakes feel very very sharp. And I think it's a matter of. See, I think it's a matter of just age. What do you mean? Like the in your car is older or? Yeah, my car is like my car was made in like 2008. Mm. So I think there's just like general wear and tear with the clutch and the brake and the whatever. Mm. With it. Whereas this car was only made in 2016. Yeah. So everything's going to feel much sharper, much stiffer. I guess, for, I don't know if it's for safety or whatever, but yeah. I've also got the dual controls on my car as well, mm. which makes it, which makes the clutch a little bit stiffer because it's attached to the spring okay. there. Does yeah. that feel stiff itself as well? My one? Yeah. Yeah, really stiff. Ah. Yeah. And it's much it stiffer than your one. Okay. Than that side. Yeah, no. I, I just, I just don't think I'd feel comfortable driving in this car on a regular basis. I really? Know. Yeah. Just, I, I'll probably get used to it, obviously. Mm. But knowing that my course is available, I'll prefer my course. <laughs> One thing I will take over. This over my course of the mm -hmm. is the what do you call it? The uh, 
hill assist. Okay. I don't really struggle on hills. Actually, I don't struggle on hills at all. But mm. hill assist just makes it that much easier. Yeah. Know what I mean, so. The hill assist. Because of the hill assist. Mm. Pull over on the left in a safe place, please. We're gonna start the independent driving now, okay? Mm -hmm. You're gonna get to the end of the road and then you're gonna turn left and then traffic lights turn left, traffic lights turn right. So what are we doing? End of the left, left. End of the road, left. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then traffic light, left. Last traffic light, right. Yeah. Right, cool. If you're not sure, you can ask, but ask in plenty of time, okay? No problem. When you're ready, please. What about insurance? Any advice for people that are going to be passing their tests too? It's for insurance. Make sure you know what insurance your car can get before you get the car. What do because you mean? Because when I got my car, mm. I got before actually knowing what insurance I could get with it. Mm. I knew the insurance would be like decent compared to other cars, mm. but at the same time, like I left it very late as to like what insurance I was actually going to get. Mm. So, I'll, it was a situation where I was at, actually abandoned <laughs> in my car because I had no ways of getting home because mm. I had no insurance on it. My phone was on a low percentage, so I had to find insurance quick. So it came to the point where I had to like call up. I think it was V back. I think it was my first car, UK. Mm. Mm. And then they, what do you call it? As respectfully as possible, they shagged me <coughs> with with, um, with mileage. So they only gave me three k miles for like two grand a year, right? Mm. And it was like I had to take it because otherwise my friend would have died, and I would have had to leave my car there. And I did not want to leave my car. And where are you going here? Yeah. It's left. Leaving, leaving my car would have been a very big L. Why? Because I didn't know what could happen. I, I, I thought there was a possibility of it getting told. I thought there was a possibility of me getting a parking ticket. I thought there was a possibility of... Was it not in a good place where it was? Yeah, it was not in a good place at all. Like okay. The guy literally came around, showed me the car, left it where he parked it. Mm. And yeah, it was in a very just crazy place. But I don't know. But yeah, make sure you know what insurance you're going to get before you buy the car. Okay, so like plan ahead basically. Yeah, literally just plan ahead. Okay. So you're saying that 3,000 miles wasn't enough? No, not at all. Has it left you like one needing more and more, more miles and not being able to drive properly? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because me, I'm someone that always wants to drive everywhere I go, right? Mm. And because I drove as much as I did in the summer, I was left with no miles. Autumn, spring, or autumn, winter.
Yeah, I was left with no miles, so I had to then buy them. Like pay pay as you go. Yeah, literally, I had to I had to purchase more miles, which was just inconvenient. Mm. Has any of your uh, learners ever gotten your speed intake before? No. Oh. <coughs> it wouldn't be mine anyway, it would be theirs. Is it? Yeah. So what, would that be points on the last one? Yeah, potentially. <laughs> <coughs> now we're following signs for Finchley, please. Finchley. Yeah. Have you got any points? No. Any fines? No. Oh, yeah, fines, yes. Mm. I have... If I actually calculate all of them, they'll probably be around like 600 pounds. And that's it. mostly parking tickets, right? And can and one congestion charge ticket. Mm. Right. Parking tickets is Was the, that was that down to you not being careful or just being tight? Or both? Both, both, both. <laughs> both. Mainly because mainly because when you think you get away with something you'll com, you'll c- continuously do it, right? Mm. So I got parking tickets in the same area multiple times. Mm. It's this place called Gunnersby Park in Acton, right? Mm. I parked there and I never paid and I never received any parking tickets for like a substantial amount of time. Mm. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep on doing spot. this. Yeah, it's a, it's a good little spot to just, you know, have some free parking. <laughs> because I went there like nearly every day, yeah, mm. I was like, there's no way I'm paying. There's no way I'm paying like, as much. I'm not paying every every time I go there, innit? Yeah. So, that's where the tightness comes into it. But, yeah. Finchley, yeah? Yeah. Still following signs for Finchley, please. Take the next left, please. It's just here, yeah? Take it. Yes, please. Pull over on the left, please. Thank you. We're going to use the car in front to do the parallel park exercise, yeah? So when you're ready, pull up beside it and then reverse into the space behind it, please. You can finish anywhere within two car lengths. You can finish blocking the driveway if you need to, but just don't go into the driveway, yeah? When you're ready, please.
Thank you. And then drive on, please, when you're ready. Two little two and one little angled turn as well. That's not as serious. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. At the end, turn left, please. What do you think has been the most like surprising thing about driving by yourself that you didn't expect when, um, you, were, when you were learning to drive? The most unexpected thing would probably be fuel prices. Mm. Always, always heard my parents complaining about fuel prices before I started driving. Mm. Always used to think to myself, nah, it can't, can't be, be that, that bad. Yeah, it can't be that bad. <laughs> Now when it actually came down to it, mm. I was like, whoa, these prices are kind of, kind of high in my pocket. It came, it came down to a situation where I found myself paying almost five bills a month for fuel. Are you going forward? Straight on, yeah. As much as I was warned about it by my parents, it was definitely unexpected how much it actually took over my life. Because <laughs> I found myself working. Working for the fuel company. Working for the fuel. Mm. <laughs> Take the next left, please. Children, uh, children. Are you hooking your home, man? At the end, turn right, please. find people treat you differently now that you're a driver, that like you've got a license rather than a learner? Uh, or not really? 100%, 100%. Let's turn left here, please. When I had that L plate on top of my car, mm. people treated me like I was just some any guy. <laughs> <laughs> like I had zero experience, which fair enough, I didn't. I, mm. I had like minimal experience. Mm. But at the same time, that, that should make them what do you call it? Give Wanna, you a bit more patience, or yeah, have a bit more patience, with you, you know. Mm. And 
one thing that I've done while being a like full license holder now mm. is that whenever I see someone in a driving lesson, I like try and give them as much time as possible. Okay. To be with How them. long do you reckon that will last for? Uh, Another couple of months. Let's t- <laughs> let's turn right at the lights, please. We'll have to see in it. We'll have to see. It, dep- it depends on when we're. What do you call it? If I'm in a rush. If mm. I'm in a rush. I'm sorry, mate. I'm gonna have to hurry up. <laughs> I'm not in a rush, though. Then you allow them. Then I will allow them. I'll drive behind them slowly. Close to them. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe. Just give them a little bit of encouragement. That one fault is playing in my head. Let's turn left at the roundabout, please. Do you find it crazy that at that speed I would have turned, um, I would have gone into third? No, because I know your car. But you notice when you're putting into neutral, you're putting a lot of strain on the clutch afterwards and you're bringing the clutch up and... Uh, or, you don't, or you're not feeling it. Well, what do you mean by that? So you, you're throwing into neutral and then you're going around the corner in neutral and then you're bringing the clutch up. Okay. As you're moving and then you, you feel like, like a little kick. That's, a, that's a, You don't feel that strain? <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm not one with the car. Maybe you're not. At the lights, let's turn right, please. This area looks very familiar. Ah, uh, 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 uh. where I got picked up for my first. Your first driving test. Driving test. How many tests did you take you to pass? Two. What happened in your first one? Uh, the first one I attempted to take <laughs> take a roundabout without looking at the mirrors. Mm. So because I went on the wrong, like I was going the wrong way, I decided to try to go the right way at the last minute. Mm. And uh, yeah, it just did, didn't. Did you check out. your mirror? No, I didn't check my mirrors. Mm. And then there was another, it was, I think it was a T-junction where I just didn't look properly. Mm. But to be fair, I feel like it was better that I passed on June the 2nd rather than on April, what, I think it was 6th. You had to wait uh, just over a month. Two months. Two months, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's coming up to about. Oh, tomorrow's the a year anniversary of my first fail. Is it? It's crazy. Yeah. Well. So you've been driving more than four, eight months, then. You know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of when I started working. Yeah, it's I've been, been driving for near ten months now. Ten months. Tried to play it down by a couple of months. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, I've been driving for 10 Taking months. Taking off two months experience just so you can give yourself a bit more of a... No, not even, not even. Of a cushion. Not even, not even. But it hasn't felt that long. No? But I feel like I... I feel quite experienced, I'll be real. As little as I've been driving, I feel quite experienced. Mm. And I think it's because of, like, me playing, like, driving games, like, innit? So I felt comfortable with driving for a while. Do you think driving games help drive with your driving lessons? 100%. Yeah. Especially, let's, let's the get, let's the, um, the pedals, mm. more the, uh, what do you call it? Like steering. The steering. Yeah. And, and the how to move the car in a certain way, like yeah, in reverse yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Steering feels much more fluid. Yeah. When you're, what do you call it? When you're, when you're driving, uh, like driving things or not. Mm. 
Schwarz. <lacht> Next lights, turn left, please. You were there just now, though? Earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just going around. No problem. Take the next right, please. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Boss man was just gonna allow it to happen as well. Were they coming from that way? Yeah. This is down here when we came down here. Yeah, they opened up recently. How is that? Yeah. Okay. Before you could only go in through that bit that we came out of, but recently they've opened up this bit now as well. Follow it towards the left, please. Maybe, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's just me, yeah. But every time I drive, I feel pain on on the side. Yeah. Maybe you're taking some turns too crazily. Let's turn right here, please. Maybe, maybe. Maybe I'm bored, what are you doing? It's in the And then turn left here, please. Swing it into one of these bays here, please. Doesn't have to be perfect, just so we're out of the way, yeah? Thank you very much. Perfect. Okay, switch the engine off, please. <coughs> Alright, Kieran. How do you think you've done on that one? It all depends on if that was a serious or not. Which one? Rolling back. Hmm. Wasn't wasn't as serious. Do you think you passed or failed? I think I passed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, there's one. Well, I'm not sure whether it's a serious, whether it can be a serious or not. Okay, let's debate. What is it? Maybe you can help me out. Uh. On the dual carriageway, we've turned right onto the dual carriageway and we're going straight down. Do you remember there's like a red car on the right lane? Do you remember it? It was going a bit slow. 
And what lane are you supposed to overtake vehicles from? The furthest lane. Or yeah. the overtaking lane. Yeah. yeah. But you zoom past them using the left hand lane. Well, they're in the furthest lane. Yeah. And then they were moving towards the middle lane as well. What are you saying? If they're that far away, you don't have to worry about them? I mean, I, that's what I would say, yeah. Mm. Like, I don't think it's undertaken at that point because they're all the way in their lane. I, there's no possible way I can overtake them and I'm not going to go that, that slow under the speed limit if I'm not behind them. Mm. That's a good point, but you, that's still an undertaking. Yeah. See, this is a real driving test. I would argue that point heavily. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I've asked the examiners this. I've asked the examiner this and they said they couldn't give me a straight answer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's one of them even said I just wouldn't I'll just turn my turn my head or something. Yeah, turn your head. They couldn't they couldn't <laughs> really give me a like a straightforward, yeah, this is what you should if do. If there's if there's literal driving examiners that can't give you a straight answer, then mm. how can that be a serious if they can't give you an answer? Mm. Okay. So for that reason should we leave it as a minor? Yeah. Then? Okay. What about coming out of this uh, parking, of this parking, car park here? Yeah. Do you remember your positioning there? Was it a bit to the left? No, it was too far to the right. Too far to the right? Yeah, yeah. I'll give you a minor for that one, but any more, it would have been a serious. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Lots of people do fail there for that. They end up too far to the right. Okay. You were a bit to the right, but not... Nah, you know what? It's going to be a serious. I swear! Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because if another car trying to come in here, you would have been in their way. Yeah. <laughs> I... Same as Mill Hill, that happens a lot as well. If you're too far to the right, to the extent that another vehicle can't come in, it's going to be a serious one. If fault. I was an actual driving, like, oh, if I was a learner, I'd be so vexed. Because of that? Because of that? Yeah. Yeah. If you watch my videos, I mention that all the time there. Yeah. So unfortunately, <laughs> you didn't pass on that one. You know what, I'll take it. Let me tell you why I'll take it. Because why? you had to debate whether I'll pass or not. Yeah. I'll take that happily. All right. But overall, quite a decent drive. Uh, and I think this, the, the things we talked about, like the undertaking, mm -hmm. it wasn't really dangerous in terms of like the cars next to you and zooming past them. Like you said, they were quite far away on the other lane, but it's still a rule. And... um else? No, the only thing, I, only other thing was the minor rolling back after you finished your, mm. your parking. Mm. That was it, really. Apart from that, it was pretty decent. And it, of course, you're swinging into into neutral a lot there. Um, you know, I'm going to ask one of the, the examiners when they come out just now what they would do in that situation. What if? Or the undertaking situation. Okay. Yeah, if if they come out quick enough, okay. I'm going to ask them. Yeah, <laughs> then I'll let you guys know. But what do you guys think? What, what do you guys think in the comments? Is that uh, a minor fault? Is that a serious fault? Should it even be a fault at all? When the driver, when the other car's on the other lane, like the third lane over there, and we're going past them in the left-hand lane, is that still undertaking? Let us know in the comments below, guys. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been uh, a nice little mock test with my brother, Kieran. Thanks for Kieran. Thanks, Kieran, for joining us today. No problem. Much appreciated. I can't, this is actually the second mock test because the first one, the camera didn't work properly. So this is the second one. The first one you actually passed, didn't you? <laughs> the first one you passed and with only a one, few minors. And that one I thought I failed. And that one, that's how it goes. You think you, you some, that's the thing. Some, some things on the test, as somebody just drives normally without being an instructor, without being in his job, you will think you've done all right. Mm. Do you know what I mean? When you haven't. I'm going to ask the examiner, see what they say. But thank you guys so much. You can listen in actually. I'm going to open the window so that you can hear the conversation. Hopefully see what she says quickly. But anyway, thanks guys. If you don't hear what she's saying, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you. Mm. Hi. I know you're in a rush, you're about to finish work, right? Yeah. I've got a really quick question. Yeah. If there was a car on the right hand lane doing 